for a lesson. You may have heard these words before, but I'll teach you what they really mean. Go beyond! Plus! Motorized, fires up to 120 feet, powerful speed, extreme distance, pinpoint accuracy, innovative flight tip, lightweight foam with aerofin technology. What is there to hate about the Nerf Ultra 1? Well, apparently just about everything, because this is one of the most lambasted products I've ever seen come out with the Nerf brand on it. People were more accepting of the Nerf dog toy brand than they are of the Nerf Ultra, and that's mostly just because of what this box represents. This box apparently represents nothing but corporate greed. A knee-jerk reaction to trying to get the bigger number on the box and maybe even swindle some poor people out of their money. Is it really as bad as people say, though? I honestly can't comment too much because I haven't gotten my hands on this, and before I say absolutely anything good about this blaster, I should get a couple of my biases out of the way right off the bat. One, I'm not a big fan of magazines. I prefer blasters that have, you know, drums or internal magazines and whatnot. Two, I don't mind the idea of a new dart. I think the 50 caliber foam dart, I use these in a review. These are the ones that came with the alternator. The elite dart is an absolute garbage dart and I don't think 50 caliber foam darts are the way of the future. So I don't mind a new dart in a new material as long as it's durable and it works well. And I kind of like the design to be perfectly honest. I like this kind of aggressive styling they have going on with the Nerf Ultra series, or at least the only blaster we have in the line. There's a lot of buzzwords on the back of this box, and yet I can't tell what this thing is actually supposed to be. It's a motorized blaster with a 25 dart high capacity drum compatible only with Nerf Ultra darts. And they even did you a favor of putting one of the darts up here in the corner of the packaging without actually, you know, hey, this is our fire this firing dart. Take a look at it. It looks really weird. Yeah, I, I can't wait. I do have four batteries, which I've been warming up inside and in my pocket. They're basically brand new C batteries. And I'm gonna directly compare this thing to both the Alternator and the Takedown, two blasters I've reviewed recently, to see if those blasters can stack up at all with the Nerf Ultra series, despite them all shooting different ammo types. And before I even start, the first biggest downside of this entire thing is the fact that this blaster is an MSRP normally sold for $50, which I think is kind of ridiculous for what you're getting, but that's Nerf Ultra for you. Comes with a bag of Ultra darts. I'm guessing there's 24 in here and we have to free up this one right here. I kind of want to keep this one in this little package because it's just cute. Look at it, it's all sealed up and ready to go. The blaster itself, not as big as you would think, that's what she said. And then some pieces for a drum and that's everything. It actually looks smaller than what you would expect a blaster like this to be. And quite honestly, I know this goes against the current uh, opinion, but I really like this grip. I, I really do like how this feels. I have no problems with it whatsoever, but I have kinda small hands, so how about that? Works out for me every once in a while. Uh, how the hell do these things go on? I'm not reading no instructions. If I have to read instructions for your blaster, I'm gonna be upset. One, two, three, and there's, what does it say on the map? To avoid jam, make sure dart ends are even with drum base. Okay, well, can we just remove this sticker? Oh, come on. Fine, I'll just leave it on there. The battery tray appears to be in this kind of guard right here. Wait, does that not require... Oh, no, it's right there. Yeah, that's a good space to put in like a lipo and stuff like that. So it should be an easy blaster to modify. And if anything, it'd be worth using the shell and just making this, you know, replace the flywheel cage and everything and make this work for 
your standard foam darts, because, I mean, yeah, you could fit a magwell on that, and it would look really cool, in my opinion. They have the orange styling on both sides of the blaster, but they only have the gold ultra on one side. On the other side, it's completely white, which is absolutely silly. And they only have the ultra one paint on one side as well, which again, is all, they already have paint on both sides. Why not put that on there as well? Come on, Hasbro! Ah, that sounds about as good as I thought it would. And let's talk about the darts for a second, because this is the entire claim to fame for the Ultra line. These darts are not made out of your standard foam. They've got a rubber head and they don't have any kind of hole in them. They're a solid object that compresses a little bit, but doesn't compress all that much. They're extremely lightweight. Uh, it, it, they almost feel like they weigh nothing, which is, you can tell just by the fact that they had. Yeah, these things really don't have a lot of weight to them and that's kind of a problem but the biggest issue i think is that people think these things are really not durable and i tend to disagree i bent one of these on a video before and i'm gonna bend it on this one yeah that one did actually split apart but I, you can tell i really had to try so that's interesting i already took a look at a bunch of these different darts and they were completely durable. Now I'm really confused. I'm gonna grab one out of here because I've, I've bent a lot of these in the past and never had a problem. See? There's something weird going on there. It's like the darts it came with are inferior to the darts you can get in the store. They compress really nice. That doesn't seem to break them, and you know, you can go like this and they don't snap. That's, this one isn't snapping. That is so weird, because this starts completely fine. But I grab a different one. No? All right, well, that's confusing. Let's just, uh, let's just load this thing up. In comparison, the darts are slightly shorter, ever so slightly shorter, than your standard foam dart that you would get with basically any other blaster, and they're slightly smaller than Mega Darts. They're actually about the same diameter as the old school Mega Darts, which I don't have one ready to show you, but take my word on it. And they don't have any holes or anything in them. No dart posts, nothing like that. No air restrictors. It's got a lock in here, though, that will prevent you from using any other kind of dart. It has to be roughly the same shape as the Ultra Dart. And I can understand why Hasbro would want to do that, because a lot of other companies are making foam darts better than theirs right now, and if you go to Walmart, you could buy 200 of these really good darts that every YouTuber is saying is awesome for the price of, like, 32 normal nerf darts, so... <laughs> so I can somewhat understand why Hasbro would be wanting to develop a new dart that people can't copy. Unfortunately, there's only 20 darts in each one of these packs, and the original blaster carries not only the 25 it comes with, but more frustratingly, it has spots for dart storage, but it doesn't come with the darts for the dart storage either, which is so freaking weird. The decisions these companies make really confuse me. All right, dart holder test. Huh? Yeah, they can come out, but I'm gonna say it's somewhat unlikely. They do actually grab the dart pretty well. You have to really try to remove them to get them out of there. I like that dart storage right there, but unfortunately it's only eight shots for the 25 round drum, which is quite a bit, especially for a semi-auto flywheeler. The trigger response and everything on this blaster is really nice. I, again, think the grip is comfortable and the stock is comfortable enough for me. I know that's gonna vary for person to person. And even then, you can't really choke up on this because you have this big spinning drum in your way, but if you just kinda shoulder it, which means this arm won't have to extend very far unless you're a small child, you can hold this thing comfortably, and I kinda dig that. It's got a, wow, end strike attachment rail. I never even noticed that. That is your standard nerf attachment rail right there and right there. 
It looks like those are the only ones on it. And then it's got a jam clearing door right there because this is a flywheeler, so I'm guessing at some point it could jam. And it says on the top, make sure access door is fully closed to fire because of course it's got a thing in there to prevent you from sticking your fingers in there. And some pretty beefy big flywheels down there, which if I remember from the internals are actually kind of on a spring system because they don't want to just tear heads off the darts, I guess. Because that's apparently a legitimate concern with this blaster. Come on, Hasbro. It's not very heavy. Uh, most of the weight is going to be right here, which, man, that, that's a cool design to put the battery pack right there, but it makes it balanced at least. I would like it more heavier towards the stock though, because it makes it, it's right in front of your hand, so it's not exactly great. I mean, they come out pretty fast. They definitely don't see, I'm gonna do a hand test. They don't seem to have a lot of impact force. No, that that definitely did not hit very hard at all. We can kind of demonstrate it with the ammo box right here. All right, so this isn't gonna be obviously comparable to any other standard foam dart because they're completely different designs, they weigh differently and so forth, but let's get an idea of what this thing hits stock. Again, you can't really compare this to any other blaster, but it's good to get a number out there anyway. Well, I didn't make it to the hole, but... 66? Sixty-three? Sixty-six? Sixty-six point two? Sixty-seven? So it's about 70 FPS. It's normally mid-60s by the looks of it. 120 FPS or feet per second does not mean it's going to fire 120 feet. Well, I'm gonna put some of the originals in here since I'm running low on ultra darts as they bounce around my garage. I'm gonna take this outside and again, I'm gonna compare it to the takedown and I'm going to compare it to the alternator standard rival and I'm gonna be using Adventure Force waffles and we'll get a decent idea of how this thing compares to those two blasters because that's something I don't think I've seen yet and I would like to see that because that will give you a great idea of how this thing functions stock. All right, so just a little quick refresher on what ranges are typical from blasters I shoot out here. This is the typical range for most of the elite dart shooters. And this is the typical range for most rival blasters I fire. So first shots at range with the Ultra. Let's see what happens. Let it fully warm up. A typical elite dart range right there. All right, that was not impressive at all. Now, allow me to demonstrate. I know these are not elite darts, but these are still really accessible foam darts. I'll try to do it flat. And it just went, it matched the farthest range I got from Ultra. I can do a slight angled shot. And this isn't even, this looks like a worn dart. Got several feet farther than Ultra <laughs> and is way more accurate. Let's uh, actually give us a, yeah, there's almost no deviation in the spread. Yeah, um, and let's try Rival. It's about 40% more. Yeah. Uh, wow. And back to the Ultra.
Those shots that aren't going straight, that is not me being like jerking the trigger or something. That is the dart literally coming out at a 45 degree angle sideways. <sighs> that is, that is not good. These are brand new batteries. These are Energizer Maxes. I used them for a little bit inside the charger before I converted it to a LiPo, which you'll see a video on. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for that. Watch out, kitten. All right, she's getting too close to him now. <sighs> yeah, those darts suck, don't they? That is, uh, that is really disappointing. Absolutely disappointing. All right, I'm gonna be aiming for the white sticker on the window of that door. Like if I'm trying to hit somebody who's hiding behind cover. Let's see how the Ultra One does. It's not even close. I think two shots got even remotely close to it. So the story on these where they were found in Walmart around mid-October and they already had a clearance sticker on them for a dollar and a fan bought them and sent them to me, which I had plans to do a bunch of stuff with the Ultra Darts because I like the idea of the Ultra Dart. I don't think the idea of having a dart like this is necessarily bad, but the entire point of having a dart like this is that it needs to do something that benefits the consumer over benefiting Hasbro. And I do not really see that yet. Yes, these are typically more durable, typically. Now, many of these have snapped on me and that's really confusing because the first box of these I ever opened, I was like, wow, these darts were really durable. And I can't explain that right now. If you watch like my Christmas unboxing video, I bent a dart in half multiple times, didn't have a problem. Every single one I pulled out of this package has broke. Some of the ones I've pulled out of these packages have broke. I don't know if that's a quality control issue or what, but they, they should be more durable and they obviously can be more durable. I'm gonna start with what I like though. The Ultra One by itself, I think looks cool. The color separation is great. The design looks good in my opinion. It's comfortable for me. If you have bigger hands, obviously this probably will bother you. But for me, it's really nice. Even with a little bit of room up here in front of the trigger. Yeah, that's a little cramped, but I've held much, much worse. I typically like just about everything about this blaster, including the fact that it's a 25 round drum on a flywheeler. That's not too bad. There are better, of course, and this would be better if it wasn't chambered for the ultra darts, but definitely not that bad. It's rather comfortable. I like the idea of the dart storage here in the stock. It's really unobtrusive and it looks cool and it's really easy to pull these out and put them back in and get the thing firing. That's it though. Everything else about this blaster, everything you've read, everything you've heard about is true. This thing is so aggressively marketed and it doesn't deliver on any single one of its promises. It really doesn't. It is not accurate. It is not distance or speed or anything like that. It's just a new dart in a new shell and it's, it's horrible. There is, there is no excusing this. This is a terrible blaster. It's like they never even fired one. They just like, oh, well, we got this thing that we can market to say it hits. It got shamed by the standard foam dart and absolutely annihilated by rival two things that you also make. There is no reason to currently purchase this blaster and I gave it the benefit of the doubt and I gave it a fair shot. It wasn't even windy outside. These things are just awful. This, as far as I know, isn't even a launch model. Although it very well could be because I've never seen anybody buy one of these things except for YouTubers. What is the purpose of this blaster besides charging $50 for something that only uses a, the darts are $10 for 20 of them. You can get a hundred, you can get 200 of these. You can go to Walmart right now and pick up 200 of these darts for around $9. What's the point Hasbro? They did send this to me free of charge. 
and I appreciate that. I really wish it wasn't covered in so much marketing. If it wasn't for the fact that they have so many lies printed on the side of the box, it wouldn't really be that bad. It could just be a new ammo type, but it's not. It's, it's less accurate than Rival. It's less distance than Elite. What is the point of this blaster? I can't figure it out. I really can't. I, I tried and it's, it's terrible. There is, it has no redeeming factor in it. This thing is God awful. I like the design and I'll probably save this shell. I'll probably mag feed it because I like the idea of doing that. But everything else about this blaster, I currently hate. There's no, I, that's my main issue. It's like, I don't mind. I'm going to wait until I completely forego these darts until the new blasters come out because there already has been leaks on new ultra blasters and maybe they'll work better but these are horrible yeah i'm i'm angry i'm sad i'm disappointed and this is a blemish on the very logo that is on the side of this blaster i this was 2019's worst blaster it's not even functional it barely works up there with the titan cs50 on being another blaster that barely works. $50, you could go out and buy the new Call of Duty for cheaper than this thing. I can't imagine how disappointed some children would be if they unwrapped this under the Christmas tree, especially if they've seen a review already. Thankfully, I didn't get my review until after Christmas, but if you got Christmas money, don't, don't buy this at all. In fact, if I've saved you 50 bucks, think about hitting that join button and join the Fuzzy Wallers Industries get some cool perks, stuff like that. Holy crap. I'm definitely gonna have to save this shell for something else though. Let me know what you think about the Nerf Ultra down in the comment section below because I can't possibly imagine there is a single fan of this blaster out there besides the design. And I'd really love to hear your reasoning. I'm, I'm sure there's gonna be somebody in the comment section that says, oh, mine works perfectly, you're just bad, lol. I know that's gonna happen, but until you have video evidence, I'm not going to believe you because I, I tried to go into this with an open mind. It is, is horrible. It is, it is worse than you could possibly imagine. I'm Walcom 7 thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you hated it, hit the dislike button and let me know what you think about the Ultra One down in the comment section below and do you have any hope for Ultra Darts in the future? But regardless, thank you very much for watching this video and of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one. <laughs> oh, thank you, cat. You, yep, you make everything better. Yeah. Yeah, it is garbage, isn't it? You gotta... Uh